Oh, oh, hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. And moves are blue. Welcome to another weekend product review for another Vivor product. Today I got this huge box. It's super heavy. It's a mini shed. It's exactly what I need right now. As you can see, I already have a mini shed, but over the years, the sun and the winter cold temperatures make the top brittle and weak. Therefore, when it snows, the snow collapses the top. So I had to buy a tarp just to cover it. It works, but it's really ugly. It's a big eyesore in my yard. So uh, thanks to my friends over at Vivor, they sent me a new shed, just what I need. I'm gonna put it right next to this one. I'm gonna see if this one lasts maybe another winter or so, but I'm gonna put it right next to it because recently I uh, dethatched that area for it to grow grass. I always put my equipment there so it never grows grass. But then when I got rid of my equipment, I wanted to grow grass. Well, now I guess I'm not growing grass because I'm going to put the shed right here. So uh, this huge box over here, I'm just going to open it up and try to put it together. Hopefully I won't need too many tools. So what do you think, fellas? Pretty good, huh? I'll be honest, it did take about an hour, hour and a half for me to do it because I did it by myself. Uh, also, it was really hot. So you saw me in time lapse, I took out a mini fan. And when you're inside with both doors closed, <laughs> it's super dark and it's super hot. So I needed a fan before I passed out, you know? Uh, but it's very similar to the one over there. I have another bigger shed that's very similar in construction. Uh, tubular, you click it to get the frame. I had this stuff left over. It's a couple of anchors. The front part over there or the back part over there is on brick, so I couldn't put those anchors in, right? But I have it on the other four that are on the grass. Uh, this rope is supposed to be tied on to these anchors here. But uh, this rope is not good rope because after a summer of the sun baking it, the winter cooling it off, then baking again, this rope gets very brittle, right? This is like nylon or something like that, not even nylon. Um, it, it wouldn't work because um, that, that uh, shed actually flew away because these ropes were so brittle and weak that it give away, that they give away. So I have like mountain climbing rope, which is very strong which is what I'm going to get for this. Also, I'm going to get a few cinder blocks and tie and hold the weight onto the uh, posts so that they don't, uh, you know, blow away. Uh, we get heavy winds and storms once in a while, and I've lost a few sheds before. But I think because this shed here is along the side there, the back also has the, you know, the house behind it. Uh, it's not exactly in the middle of a field, 
so it would blow away. It has some structure around it to prevent the wind drafts, if you guys know what I mean with physics and stuff. But anyway, it's very similar to that one. Um, two zippers on each side here. And you roll up the door with two uh, clasp straps that go like that, right? And um, I don't know why, but I have like about five extra bungees left and also a, a few extra bolts and nuts. And I think they give it to you because, well, in case you lose it, you know, but uh, it's not hard to put together. You saw, I actually did read the instructions. I wanted to make sure that each pipe and each pole was fitting into the proper areas. And, um, you know, I mean, if you've done a few sheds before, which I have, it's like my sixth or seventh shed. I just hope this one doesn't blow away. But this is bigger than I thought. And it's uh, really, tall as you can see they have the vivor sign here tough tools have price so here's the interior as you can see what i did with the poles here it has um the bottom base for each pole there's six poles that go into the ground they're anchored with pins uh, also i what the other one didn't have is the bottom poles too which is very cool I use power tools to get the uh, nuts on there tighter um, and it's much faster too. So here's the beginning of the brick pavement, as you can see there. Has straps that held it down and those bungee cords that hold it all together and all along the uh, posts. You see the structure? It's really good. Um, this part here, the back, does not have zippers. There's only an entrance in the front right there. But as you can see, it's very tall. Um, it's it's really tall. Um, you know, let me let me stand there. So I'm in the middle. I'm five seven. Okay. So six, probably eight feet tall. Maybe more. I'm not sure, but. You can park your motorcycle in here. You can park, you can park 10 motorcycles in here or eight motorcycles. You can park your lawn tractors in here. Uh, this is, this was bigger than I thought. It looks smaller online and in the pictures, but this is definitely bigger than, than what you see on, on the website. But, uh, oh, it has one mesh window here. You can open it from the other side just for ventilation. But if you don't want this to blow away, you have to close this door, close that window, so that there's no drafts that give it lift, so that it's not, it doesn't act like a parachute or an umbrella, right? If you kept this door open during a big windstorm, it would blow away because this would be like a parachute, right? So if you have a lot of wind and storms coming, you gotta close everything, make sure you don't have too many openings so that air would get inside to get lift. But like I said, I'm gonna put some cinder blocks along these posts here to hold it all down and uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I, I really like it. Um, there's a lot of equipment that I need to uh, put in here and this gives me a lot of uh, extra room to store your equipment. Uh, lawn tractors, lawn mowers, stuff you use for your lawn. If you get snow, snow blowers. I have a motor scooter I'd like to park in here. I even have a snowmobile that I'd like to eventually park in here too. So this is fantastic, I love it. If you guys would like to check this out, it's very inexpensive and like you saw, not very hard to put together. If you get a friend or something to help you, you'll be done lickety split. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want this Vivor Mini Shelter. It's not very mini, it's pretty big, but it's a good price. Go check them out. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time. I'm always a